Welcome to CCN TV Midday News. I am your host, Captivating Krishna. Here are some of your top stories for today, March 25th. A deal has been reached on a $2 trillion stimulus bill, the largest by far in U.S. history. The Trump administration still fights to strip food stamps from 700,000 people. Trump accuses the New York governor of creating death panels. Governor Cuomo then slams federal interaction as the coronavirus desperation mounts. Texas has banned abortions during this coronavirus outbreak. And Governor DeSantis takes heat as he goes his own way on coronavirus. Let's get to the news. After haggling for days over the final details, the Senate Democrats and the White House agreed on Tuesday to a nearly $2 trillion stimulus package to combat the economic fallout of the coronavirus outbreak, including direct payments to most Americans and a half a trillion dollar fund to shore up struggling companies. The stimulus bill by far is the largest ever proposed, coming with a price tag equivalent to 9% of the nation's gross domestic product and is meant to provide direct financial aid and help to individuals, hospitals, and businesses. It includes $300 billion for small businesses, $150 billion for local and state governments, and $130 billion for hospitals, according to those involved in the negotiations. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer uh, negotiated through Monday night and all day Tuesday to resolve the outstanding issue. The Senate vote on the deal could occur quickly with the House potentially following soon after. House members have not returned from their scheduled recess and remote voting is not allowed under House rules. The Trump administration said that it will fight a court ruling blocking its plan to strip food stamps from nearly 700,000 people amidst the coronavirus crisis. The Department of Agriculture announced that it will appeal a federal judge's injunction stopping the agency from changing rules to greatly reduce the number of people who receive food aid before it was set to take effect effective April 1st. The U.S. District Court judge in Washington, D.C. blocked the rules from taking effect, citing new coronavirus pandemic, especially now as the global pandemic poses widespread health risks, guaranteeing that government officials at both the federal and state levels have flexibility to address the nutritional needs of its residents and ensure their well-being through programs like SNAP. It's essential, the judge said in her opinion on Friday. <clears throat> in order the order to block the USDA from enacting the rule is announced in December, revoking state's ability to issue waivers for food stamps work requirements. The rules could result in 688,000 people losing access to Supplement Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as SNAP benefits. The agency told the Associated Press that it disagrees with the court's reasoning and will appeal its decision. The ruling came in response to a lawsuit filed by 20 attorney generals over the change in rule. The Trump administration's rule would have forced hundreds of thousands of people who could not find work, including 13,000 district residents, to go hungry. During a Fox News town hall with President Donald Trump and the White House Coronavirus Task Force, Trump read a headline from the right-wing website Gateway Pundit that accused the New York governor Andrew Cuomo of establishing death panels in his response to the coronavirus outbreak. Citing the article, Trump said that Cuomo had a choice to order thousands of ventilators back in 2015 but refused to do so. <clears throat> it should be noted that the Gateway Pundit 
has an incredibly low credibility rate from fact checkers, according to the media watchdog group NewsGuard. The Gateway Pundit regularly publishes hoaxes and widely shared conspiracy theories. During an impassioned press briefing on Tuesday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said that the state's efforts to slow the spread of the coronavirus have not worked, and instead the virus is escalating on its own. Cuomo made a plea for more ventilators in the state, saying thousands more are needed than the federal government has offered to send. According to Cuomo, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as FEMA, has agreed to send 400 ventilators to New York, a fraction of what is needed. What am I going to do with 400 ventilators when I need 30,000, Cuomo said. You picked the 26,000 people who are going to die because you only sent 400 ventilators. The governor said the federal government's offering misses the magnitude of a problem that is defined by its magnitude. During an interview with Fox News later on Tuesday, President Trump responded to Cuomo's criticism, saying that the governor should have ordered the ventilators himself five years ago. The president then produced an undefined piece of paper and appeared to read aloud New York Governor Cuomo rejecting buying 16,000 ventilators back in 2015 before the pandemic, which is the story I just read earlier. The rate of the new coronavirus cases in New York has doubled about every three days, according to Cuomo. The increase has outpaced prior projections of how much medical supplies will be needed during the outbreak. And in other news, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton ordered a ban on abortions in the state unless the life of the mother is threatened. The order came on Monday, a day after Texas Governor Greg Abbott said abortions did not qualify as essential care and ordered any scheduled procedures to be postponed amidst the coronavirus outbreak. The order will be Uh, expire April 21st, but before then, any medical worker providing abortions can be fined up to $1,000 and face jail time for up to 180 days. Paxton and Abbott are following in the footsteps of Ohio. On March 17th, Ohio's governor ordered the cancellation of all non-essential medical procedures over the weekend. Ohio's Deputy Attorney General Jonathan Fulkerson uh, sent a letter to several abortion clinics in the state accusing them of being in violation of the order. In Maryland, an order was slightly less clear. In a press conference about the state's order suspension, non-essential businesses and procedures, Monday Mayor's Governor Larry Hogan appeared to tell a reporter he's considered abortions a non-essential service. Hogan's office did not immediately respond to BuzzFeed News' response for clarification on the issue. While New York and California and other states shutter their economies to keep the coronavirus at bay, Governor Ron DeSantis is refusing to follow the herd. His cure can't be worse than the disease approach has put the Republican governor under the glaring spotlight locally as well as nationally. As the cases of the virus in Florida surge past 1,400 people, it's a philosophy that aligns DeSantis with other conservatives, including President Donald Trump and the Florida House Speaker Jose Oliver, a Republican with a strong libertarian bend. On Tuesday, the state Senate Democrats began papering the governor's office with letters urging him to issue a shelter-in-place order. This is the dumbest, excuse me, shit I've heard in a long time, says one of the Senate state leaders. 
uh, from Miami Gardens. This is a day-by-day crisis. Italy damn near saw a thousand people die in one day. And there are people proclaiming that we got this and we could have it solved in 15 days. DeSantis has grown even more defiant on Monday instead of buckling to the political pressure to issue a shelter-in-place order, he said he would restrict the visitors coming into the state from coronavirus hotspots, including New York. And he's now literally ignoring pleas from Governor, from Florida Democrats, excuse me, to be more aggressive. And once again, thank you for watching TCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian. And as always, be the change you want to see. If you want change, the change starts with you. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave comments below. I would like to hear what you think about these stories and more. Alright, have a good day. Peace.